guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is not a date or time specific reading. Whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, it may be your message at that time. And that's, I always forget to remind you, check out the playlists. I separate them by zodiac sign. And if you scroll through and you see a title from a past reading that gets your attention, um, it may have a message for you now that either didn't resonate then or you may be newer to the channel and therefore it's that's why I put together the playlists so you can go through and take advantage of that okay um, yeah we've got some energy brewing as I'm recording this we're at the first quarter moon which is always a little tense right it's a square it's kind of that immovable um, challenge but to me, the first quarter moon is more about tweaking. So anything you set your intentions around for that new moon solar eclipse in Aries, this is that time a week later where you get to kind of tweak. <laughs> what did you set intentions around? And do you need to make some adjustments as we build to the full moon in Scorpio with a lunar eclipse coming up on May 5th? So we also have Mercury in retrograde right now. So we're in the eclipse wormhole and we have Mercury retrograde pulling us back in the sign of Taurus. So yeah, it's um, some fixed energy that we're working with, which can be difficult, but I say take it as an opportunity to review, reflect, reconsider some things. When you're in that Mercury retrograde in Taurus, it's like reconsideration of uh, especially of what you value of of things that are most important to you okay okay you can be here as a cross watcher for a sagittarius that's fine sometimes the messages come through directly for the cross watcher so you may need to flip the energies around it may come through reverse for you that's that's also 100 percent fine because it's a general reading not a personal reading okay um, I am going to apologize in advance. It's long day here, and I didn't get this whole shebang started early enough. So if you notice me slowing down or stopping and you can't hear anything, it sounds like the lawnmowers and edgers and blowers are right in my head. So <laughs> you might not hear it as loud as it feels like it's coming through for me. Okay, so I just want to let you know. Here we go. I'm kicking off with Fortune Oracle. Let's get a card for those of you watching. Star. Beautiful. Card 29. 2 and 9 is 11. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. So you are getting the star card. Oh, I love that for you. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. Kind of goes along with the morning musing oracle. Um, similar theme. I was working with the dragons. You got the air and fire dragon. Expands your creative energies. Harness your creativity, excitement, and enthusiasm, and communicate your passion. So there's something about positivity and enthusiasm and passion coming in for you and you know um you just gotta trust that the universe has your back okay so what i'm gonna do here is i'm just gonna pull the spread i'm gonna give you my general impressions and then we're going to um, clarify for more details okay here we go <laughs> oh my goodness Mm-hmm. All right, beautiful. Um, so for this spread, I set the intention that this side of the spread is about the sign I'm reading for or about, which in this case is Sagittarius, and this would be the divine counterpart for Sagittarius, as I just got done saying. If you're here as a cross watcher, or if you're here as this, you know, as any sign, it can be reversed. So if you identify with this side, just claim it. It's just my structure. It's just how I move through a reading. Um, this is a split soulmate spread. So I'm going to start with the divine counterpart and then come over here to your energy. We've got your person showing up with the energy of the three of pentacles. And the three of pentacles to me is always about 
cooperation, co-creation, sort of being on the same page at the same time, seeing what's good about the connection and you know what's the what's the base level? What have we got working for us and then how do we create the masterpiece? Right? How do we build upon it? In the past, uh, we've got the Ten of Pentacles for this person. This can be about life partnership. It can be about marriage and family and um, abundance and what we're, we all work so hard to achieve in life. So there could be something around that. Um, present experience of this connection is the High Priestess. You may be in some form of, of um, separation or no communication, but it feels to me like this person is trying very hard to pick up the signs like like what am i missing is what i hear them saying because going forward we have some regrets five of cups some regrets of the past mistakes of the past and a sense of possible loss uh for you you're showing up in the reading with your own energy here this wheel of fortune is jupiter which rules the sign of sagittarius and it's all about fate and destiny and karma and about divine time and things kind of flowing in divine time in order. And I love that because your present experience of the connection, we've got the sun here. So I feel like you are very optimistic at this time. Um, you're finding some peace and some happiness and some bliss coming in. And it feels like it's right on time. Uh, in the past six of swords, so that to me is about getting some peace of mind and moving through something that's a little bit more turbulent and getting to the calmer waters of the lake across the banks, right? Like you're looking at it and you're saying, I know I can get to it. And once I do, things will calm down and I'll be able to sort of process things better. But going forward, we've got the four of swords. So it's interesting to me that I've got some some need for healing or at least this could be the mercury retrograde energies coming through for you since mercury will be retrograde until may 15th like something that needs to be re you know reconsidered i'm just going to use that word that's the word that's been screaming to me for this particular retrograde that was the world card so let's look like let's look at the three of pentacles Queen of Wands, King of Swords, <laughs> Queen of Swords. Yeah, there are a couple people here. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, since you're here as the Sag, since this is Sagittarian energy, I'm going to say, even though that Queen of Wands is Aries energy, I feel the fire coming from it. I feel the attraction. I feel the lure. Um, but this King of Swords is being very strategic because there may be someone else in the mix. There may be some other energy or something. I mean, the threes can be about third party stuff. The queen of swords, I'm just feeling that this card here has something to do with a third party. This person, this king of swords being involved somewhere else or having commitments somewhere else. Um, so if that's not your storyline, then that doesn't apply to you. But I'm feeling like this person is dealing with um, almost, I, I'm not seeing the two of pentacles, but I'm feeling it here with that th three of pentacles coming in as like, how do I negotiate this? Um, so that I'm not, I'm not dealing constantly with two different energies and one that could cut me down to size, if you know what I mean by the queen of swords there. So let's look at the 10 of pentacles in the past. Oh, all right. So um, I'm, I am feeling this is third party. Um, I feel it's been very exhausting for this person to kind of keep up the charade. You may in fact be their divine feminine. I do not think you are their life partner at this time. I think that queen of swords is. Um, that's just the energy that's coming through. So scroll away if it's not your reading. Um, I do feel like there's third party energy that this person has commitment somewhere else. It's exhausting to kind of uh, keep it up and shuffle things around. That's why I felt that three of pentacles like a three card Monty kind of thing. It, um, and despite the fact that there is divine feminine energy involved, this, um, that's why I'm seeing the queen of wands here as more of the 
lore, um, the attraction, and the queen of swords, and the, with her back to the king of swords, this is the couple that I'm seeing with that ten of pentacles. Um, so that is a very specific storyline, um, but it's pretty much, I'm not seeing any alternatives, so I want to be clear about that. High Priestess. Yeah, they know. Uh, they have an inner knowing that you are their person. And when we've got this King of Wands showing up here, it feels to me like, it go, you know, right? We've got the King and Queen of Swords, which is the conundrum they're in with someone else that they're with. And then we have the king and queen of wands. And that's the passion project right there. That's, that's where they want to be. Uh, it's not where they are. Um, they want to be with you. They have an intuitive knowing, an inner knowing, if you will, that you are meant, that you are soulmates, past life soulmates. There's warmth, there's connection. It's a spiritual bond. They really want some form of reconciliation here or a triumphant homecoming. I almost feel like on some level, there's a little bit of fantasy about it, and I'm not saying that that it, that in a negative sense at all, that when they hold the vision of the connection, what plays out is this beautiful triumphant homecoming. And it feels like everything gets resolved. It's how we how we move through things when we're somewhere we're not supposed to be. And we have the vision that we're holding of where we desire to be and where we feel we belong. Um, so that's what I mean when I say a little bit of the, the fantasy of it. It's the dream vision. So let's look at the Five of Cups in the future. <laughs> right. Yeah. Regrets that they weren't able to... Um... Wow. <sighs> I know. Because they, they show up here with the Three of Pentacles energy. And then in the future, that's where the regrets are. That's where the sense of loss is, is I couldn't be on the same page or I can't be on the same page. They see that clearly. They will see that clearly. Underneath, we have judgment. So because this is looking at the future down the road, I do feel like they would want a second chance, maybe some form of reunion. They may understand where things kind of got sidetracked or derailed. They may see that clearly. Um, and they may seek some form of forgiveness for not being available, right? Sometimes the King of Wands is an unavailable lover, and it just feels to me that this person is committed elsewhere. for what, And whatever that's about, it doesn't have to be another person, but it can be family. It can be, right, parental interference. It can be um, obligations to other people, um, it can be distance, it can be work related. So please take it as it resonates for you. But there is some somewhere else that this person is, you know, is being um, held to some measure of obligation and where they want to be is with you. And by the time they sort that all out, there is the regret, there is the sadness, there is the um, awareness of where things went wrong. Okay, so we'll look at your energy with this Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I feel you're coming in um, very aware of fate and destiny and karma, and you're saying it's a little too late, and I'm not going to be breadcrumbed, and I'm, you know, this is done. In the morning musing, we had the Ten of Swords twice. And I did say for that, for the channel members in the morning musing, that I feel it has already happened. So that's why it's coming from the bottom of the deck. And for those of you who are new, first of all, welcome. Um, I pull from the bottom of the deck uh, to tap into unconscious awareness. All the cards from the top of the deck are kind of in your awareness or your person's awareness from the bottom of the deck, it's more in the psyche or something playing out behind the scenes. But I feel like this 10 of swords already happened. There's already been a painful um, ending. And I feel like you're reckoning with the karma and the fate of all of that. And you're moving on your way. And it feels to me like um, anything that has been offered may just been um, too little. 
but I can also see that page of Pentacles being you moving, right? Eight of Cups, Page of Pentacles. I'm on a new leg of my journey. I'm starting out fresh, fresh start energy with that Page of Pentacles. Um, the time is right for this, is to let it all go. So let's see the Six of Swords in the past. All right. You really wanted some movement. You really wanted to get beyond it. It's like you really wanted a cause for celebration, some reconciliation. Look at that. We've got the Six of Swords twice. And what's in the middle of it? The Hangman. Stagnation. Nothing changed. Nothing. And so in your unconscious awareness, it was all about you know, the getting back together, the happy times, the sitting together wherever you would be, laughing, talking. It was so so easy and comfortable. They have um, the Six of Cups as well. So that's warmth and comfort and nostalgia and just kind of feeling like you're home with this person, you know, that you're just comfortable with their energy. So I feel like that's what you were holding in the back of your mind. But most of all, you just wanted to move forward and get beyond whatever this energy um, was. And it came out in the morning musing as well. And I talked about a potential breach of trust. And I'm not, you know, I'm not sure how that speaks to you. So you have to take it as it resonates. But I almost feel like this person was involved in two places and couldn't get out of one and was already involved with you and uh, the whole thing just exhausted them and you were just looking for that exit ramp like let's just get some peace of mind here let's just get beyond this turbulence and nothing happened nothing changed the sun in your present experience of this connection right? You know, this person could make you happy, but right now you're not. You're just not. Sun, four cups, you know, um, disillusioned, disappointed, feeling rejected, two of pentacles, on the fence about the whole thing, feeling very torn. Underneath is the queen of cups, so you do have an open heart. You are working from some measure of empathy and compassion but the issue with the queen of cups is she can also in reverse energy be a little needy and i feel like you're kind of like trying to control that with that two of pentacles like yeah i'm not happy i want to be happy i'm not happy i'm feeling rejected i'm feeling the emotional distance and so you're kind of trying to modulate that energy of your emotions so that you 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 don't you don't wallow in it you, you're not wanting to wallow in it. You're open. Um, your heart feels open to me, but like right on the verge with that two of pentacles of tipping over into some neediness that you don't want. So going forward, we have the four of swords. The death card. Four of wands. Knight of wands. Yeah, I do feel like some healing's coming in here. Um, you have to reconsider this connection. Maybe it's time to kind of release it. Um, I do feel with the Knight of Wands, which is Sagittarian energy, but I don't think it's this person's energy. I think it's this person's energy, regardless of sun sign. I feel like this has been an in and out thing. They come, they go. They do not stay. They do not have a plan. They act in the moment of the passion, queen and king of wands. And then they, they don't stay, which leaves you so disappointed and disillusioned. And it could very well be a twin flame connection. We have the divine feminine here. We have the four of wands. We have the six of cups. But that doesn't mean that the timing is right. And so I do feel going forward, you there's some reconsideration of maybe releasing something that's holding you back from the happiness you know you desire and deserve. So I know lately um, <laughs> the Sag readings have been a little dicey. Please know that if you're seeing that um in other places here on YouTube, you know, we are all drawing off of the energy of the collective. So I just want you to know if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Keep checking back, go into the playlist, like I said, 
these readings for Sagittarius have been challenging lately because something is coming to an end and, and I feel like someone's getting in the mindset of releasing it for good by whatever means necessary because your happiness depends on it, okay? So um, I'm going to tell you the astrology that showed up here. Before I do that, there is a link in the description box below. If you want to keep going with me, I push these cards up. I continue the spread. And I pull the two of you together and I look at what's working in the connection, where the challenges might be, how to manage those challenges or what to expect from all of it. I get messages to and from each other. What are you communicating to each other at 5D? What does this person want you to know? And what are they picking up from your energy? Um, I will get a card from Spirit of the Universe with some direction, some guidance, warnings if that comes up. Hidden energies for this person, what's going on behind the scenes that you're unaware of but might like to know about. And then what you can expect going forward, what are the opportunities, okay? So that's what I do in the extended and the link is below. So we have the Queen of Wands, which I did say is um, associated with the sign of Aries. The King of Swords is Aquarius. Queen of Swords is Libra. We have the beautiful Empress, which is um, Venus, which rules Taurus and Libra. We've got um, the High Priestess is Pisces. King of Wands is Leo. And we have Judgment is Pluto, which rules Scorpio. Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, the Hanged Man is Pisces. The Sun is more Leo energy. Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. The uh, Death card is Scorpio. And the Knight of Wands is Sagittarius. So that's what I have for you. The link to the extended is below. I'll see you there in a second. Otherwise, bye for now.